Good day guys! I have just acquired this nice looking Metro Hit Pro and unfortunately it seems it is bad and of course it was a second hand and um, wasn't too expensive but still I would love it to work but seems I uh, was scammed and uh, I'm pretty new to electronics and I was very happy to have one like this and um, you know there is some disappointment but anyway you learn uh, <laughs> on your mistakes but anyway maybe it's not something really difficult to fix and I would really really appreciate any help you can give me on uh, what may be wrong and of course the well, first thing I did is I opened it and I tried to see if there is anything obvious like um, you know some loose piece of metal something unscrewed or something burned uh, I checked the fuse I checked the capacitors as much as I could so basically inside it looks like you know, someone was surely there before so the seller surely knew about the problem and the, he couldn't fix it and um, I don't know what skills he had to do this. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a beginner, so I know a little bit about general how multimeter is built inside, how the protection works, but I'm surely not an expert on, on all those super complicated controllers that display the results and all that but anyway going to to the meter itself so what the problem is what i have observed so far so first of all if you turn it on you can see it does not show zeros but some value and this value fluctuates so this is what it does on uh, volts AC, then when we turn it to volts DC, it does it the other way, no, it actually also, no, it goes down, yeah, so it's the other direction, it's also non-zero. After sometimes it stabilizes, so it goes to some value and stops there and sits there. Um, as you see, the the test leads are not connected, the slots are empty, so um, this thing is pretty nicely shielded inside, especially the measuring part. So that's not something from the nearby lightning or uh, power sources of any kind, it's, it's what it does internally. Uh, when you try to measure something, it works, it gives this initial first result looks pretty correct compared with my uh, Ryman, which is pretty new. So it's uh, well calibrated, I assume. So it gives a result. But then this result again fluctuates. It, it drifts and uh, and then goes to a value which is not really precise. So here in the in the amps mode, you can see it shows some value. And uh, when you go to volts AC, sorry, amps AC, you see it also starts from some value, then it drifts down to, um, to, to some other value. So these are things that I have noticed so far. As I said, internally, it does not really look bad. And um, there's one more interesting fact about it. But let's just see where the amps settle and if they will settle. As you can see, it, it, it slows down, slows down, and it will settle on some value, which is pretty close to, to the expected zeros, I guess. And, uh, and this other observation I mentioned is actually also nice. I don't know if it will work on amps, but if I take it upside down, no, no reaction here. Okay, so if you are in volts measurement, there's one more pretty interesting thing that happens. So if you take it upside down, values change significantly 
versus when it's in this position. So you can see the movement of this thing influences on the readout. So that suggests that's probably some something loose, some capacitor broken maybe, and because it affects all the measurements in a different way, but but it, it you can see something happens in amps measurement, in volts measurement, in AC, in DC. Um, it's probably something on the on on the grounding side of the things. That's at least my thinking. Maybe I'm completely wrong. So any advice, any advice you can give, I mean, of course, um, it doesn't really make sense to send it to Gossen service because that would cost way more than I need to pay for a second hand one and, and uh, I'd probably better buy a next one uh, in good condition and maybe this time go and pick it up personally <laughs> instead of um, getting it sent over a mail but any any ideas anything I could check maybe you experienced similar problem and know what was the reason I just have no clue what else I can do about it so hope uh, for any suggestions or help uh, keep my fingers crossed that somebody can actually help and and really thank you in advance for anything that you can sh that can shed some light on this problem thank you very much and see you again